watching America This Morning, America's number one early morning news. Good morning. The Boston mob boss who outsmarted and embarrassed federal agents for the last 16 years is a fugitive no more. Yeah, the FBI wasted no time updating its website overnight, changing Whitey Bulger's status to captured after agents arrested him and his girlfriend in California. John Hendren has the details. He had been on the lam, wanted for more than a decade. He is a, a predator in every sense of the word and took advantage of the very community that he was from. Alleged mobster James Whitey Bulger fled Boston in late 1994 as federal agents were about to arrest him in connection with 19 killings, racketeering, and other crimes that spanned the early 1970s to mid-1980s. Do you know who I am? This is who we're after. He was so notorious, he was the inspiration for The Departed, a 2006 Martin Scorsese film starring Leonardo DiCaprio, Matt Damon, and Jack Nicholson. Bottom line is Bulger has to be caught, and the sooner the better. This has gone on long enough. The FBI recently stepped up its efforts to find his girlfriend, Catherine Grieg. We focus on uh, co-workers, neighbors, uh, manicurists, beauty salons, uh, veterinary clinics, anybody that may have had contact with her. Grieg and Bulger disappeared in 1995 with a $2 million reward for information leading to his capture. The 60-year-old Grieg faces charges of harboring a fugitive. We look to publicize the Bulger case worldwide in order to, in essence, make his world smaller for him. The two were arrested without incident and will appear in a Southern California courtroom. Grieg was known for her multiple surgeries and for her hygiene. She made monthly visits to a dentist for cleaning. And, you know, this was no uh, casual search, was it? No, it, it wasn't, in fact, uh, Peggy. The police, the FBI, tracked them to Uruguay at one point. They were staking out the Battle of Normandy, the 60th anniversary there, because he was apparently a military fan. At one point, they thought they had tracked him down in Sicily. And after Interpol tried to close in, they discovered in fact, what they had run across was two German tourists.